we're going to look at measuring voltage and current in a parallel circuit. Here I have a parallel circuit with a single battery. You could have two in your circuit. And the current is going to exit through the positive end of the battery. We know in reality it, the electrons come out of the negative end, but uh, conventional current design uh, come out of the positive end. And I haven't hooked it up yet, so I'm going to hook it up now. And the current's going to come up here and it goes to a split. And it's going to split and go in parallel through the green and the blue resistors. Then it'll come back together and it will continue on back into the battery and repeat the loop. Now to measure the voltage across the battery, I have to move the lead down to the bottom two holes and set this on 20 DC volts. And I measure from this post to this post, which are the positive and negative terminals of the battery. And I have 1.13 volts. Obviously this battery is very dead. You'll notice that if I measure across these, I get the same number, just like I would if I measured at the very ends of the battery. Same number, because the voltage that's coming out of the battery splits here, and it's the same voltage on both. It's as if each one of these is separately connected to the battery, and they are. This is the battery right here, and each of these wires separately connects to the battery, so they each get their uh, the same voltage, which for the battery is the should be one and a half volts, but we've got a dead battery here that I'm using, so it's 1.13. Uh, now to measure current, now that I've seen that I can measure voltage like this and like this, and it's the same everywhere, I do want to point out two things. If you measure, if you attempt to measure like this, you get zero. That's because this is one wire and there's nothing in between it. There's no circuit element. There's no resistor or lamp or anything in between these. So there's no potential difference between these two. We have to cross a circuit element like a resistor or a lamp to measure a potential difference across those two things. So this is how we get the potential. Now to measure current, I need to move the lead up to the top hole where it says 10 amps and then flip around to the 10 amps. Now, if I were to measure this this way, I am short circuiting the battery. Okay, notice it went up to 3 amps. Fortunately, it doesn't damage this meter because this meter is capable of going up to 10. But I'm short circuiting the battery because the current is flowing out of here. It's going into my meter right here. And then it goes through the meter. And then it comes back here straight into the battery. So this is a short circuit. Don't ever do this. Okay, if you do this, again, short circuit. If your numbers are up above 1, you've short circuited your, your battery. To measure the current, I need to insert the meter into the circuit. So the circuit must be closed by the meter. The meter becomes the switch. So I'm going to unhook this battery. And now, just like I would need to hook this back up to get current flow, I'm going to hook it up through the meter by attaching the meter here to this end, which I have to pin that down good or hold it, and then here. Now I'm going through the meter to complete the circuit, and the total current is about 0.3. It says point, uh, we go, 0.31 amps. Now that 0.31 amps is the total current. If I want to look at the current through an individual resistor, I have to unhook each resistor separately. So I'm going to unhook this one resistor. Now current is flowing through the blue resistor, but not through the green. So it makes a complete loop around here through the blue, but it can't go through the green because the circuit is not complete. I'm going to complete the circuit through the green resistor by attaching it here and here. My current is 0.2 or 0.21 through the green resistor. Now I need to complete the circuit through the blue resistor, which I do by unhooking the circuit and attaching it here and here. I complete it through the blue resistor and it's 0.1. So we had 0.1 through the blue resistor, 0.21 through the green resistor, and the total was 0.31. We add the currents. Remember the voltage was the same, but we we're going to add the currents. So I open the circuit here for total. I open the circuit here for the green resistor. And I open the circuit here for the blue resistor. They must be unhooked, and you must complete the circuit, not by connecting them together, but by connecting them through the meter to get the current. 